Hello dear AI enthusiasts, what I'm telling you today about Grok3 takes previous insights to a completely new level. After my first video on this topic, numerous new details and benchmarks have emerged that I don't want to withhold from you. The chatbot arena, the holy grail of all AI evaluations, has now clearly spoken. An early version of Grok3, codenamed Chocolate, has become the first model ever to break the magical 1400 point mark. Jimmy from the XAI team proudly explains, in this blind test, an early version of Grok3 already reached about 1,400. No other model has ever achieved an ELO score in this range. And it's not just in a single category, it's number one in all areas. Grok3 has taken first place in every category. Overall, number one, hard prompts, number one, coding, number one, mathematics, number one. I know it sounds incredible. Let that sink in for a moment. What this really means, for the first time since the beginning of the AI revolution, we have a clear leader. Not a slight advantage, but clear dominance. Think of Grok3 as a super brain athlete. Earlier AI models were like athletes who mastered only one discipline. Claude was good at running, GPT at swimming. But Grok3, it wins the decathlon with records in every discipline. But the benchmark data becomes even more impressive. In mathematics competitions like the AIME 2025 American Invitational Mathematics Examination, Grok3 reasoning scored 93 points, while Claude 3 mini high only reached 86.5 and Anthropics Claude 1 only 79. And you know what's craziest? The AIME 2025 was completed just five days ago, long after Grok 3's training finished. That's like a student passing an exam they never studied for. Tony from the XAI team explains it simply. The large model is better at handling completely new problems. It has developed real understanding, not just memorization. This enormous computing power of 200,000 GPUs is impressive. But you know what the real revolution is? It's not just the hardware, it's the way Grok thinks. How did they even build this monster? The construction was an epic challenge. Elon explains, when we started, data center providers told us it would take 18 to 24 months to bring 100,000 GPUs online. That meant losing would be a certainty. So we had to do it ourselves. They found an abandoned Electrolux factory in Memphis and transformed it into an AI powerhouse. Igor, the engineering lead, describes it like this. Phase one took 122 days to fully synchronously train 100,000 GPUs, and phase two took 92 days to expand to 200,000 GPUs. The technical challenge was immense. Elon describes it as a giant orchestra with 100,000 or 200,000 participants, and the entire orchestra goes quiet and loud in 100 milliseconds. The power fluctuations were so dramatic that they had to reprogram Tesla Megapacks to balance them out. Tony, who works on the reasoning team, explains, We believe here at XAI that it's not enough to have the best pre-training model. The best AI model must be able to think like a human, reflect, consider all possible solutions, criticize itself, verify solutions, and reason from first principles. Grok3 features two revolutionary modes that weren't known in my first video, Think an advanced reasoning mode that allows the AI to think longer and deeper. Tony explains, for these models that can think, you can also ask them to think even longer. You can invest more time and computing power before outputting an answer. Deep Search, a kind of next generation search engine. Jimmy describes it like this. Today we're introducing a new product called Deep Search. It's the first generation of our Grok agents that help not just engineers, researchers, and scientists with coding, but everyone with everyday questions. An impressive demo showed how Grok3 is able to calculate and visualize a complex flight path from Earth to Mars and back, completely without preparation, just off the cuff. Even Musk was impressed. It's pretty close. There are, of course, many complexities in the actual orbits that need to be considered, but it's pretty close to what it would look like. And that wasn't all. In another demo, Grok3 spontaneously wrote a completely new game, a mix of Tetris and Bejeweled called Betris. The crazy thing, it actually worked. Elon jokes, we're founding an AI gaming studio at XAI. If you're interested in working on AI games, come to XAI. But now it gets even more interesting. A former XAI employee recently caused quite a drama. He was practically forced to resign because he ranked Grok 3 below ChatGPT in a ranking. The crazy thing is, the same guy also hinted that Grok 3 has a secret feature that will completely turn the tech world upside down. The community is wildly discussing. From super-intelligent agents to completely new human-machine interfaces, everything is being speculated. The release information has now become more concrete. Grok3 has already been unlocked for Premium Plus subscribers on X, formerly Twitter, 
There's also a separate subscription called Super Grok for those who want the most advanced features and earliest access to new features. Igor, the engineering lead, explains, we've been working tirelessly to release all these features we've shown you, the Grok 3 base model with amazing chat capabilities, deep search, the advanced reasoning mode, all these things we want to make available to you today. In Germany, Grok 3 should be fully accessible from February 28th, and Musk promises continuous improvements. When you use Grok 3, you'll probably notice improvements daily. We're continuously improving the model, so you'll literally see improvements within 24 hours. No other AI lab has made such progress in such a short time. Jimmy explains, if we plot performance on a graph with time on the x-axis and the performance of the MMLU benchmark on the y-axis, we see that we're advancing at an unprecedented speed. What's next? Elon reveals, we've already started work on the next cluster, which will be about five times as powerful. Instead of a quarter gigawatt, it will have about 1.2 gigawatts. That's on the order of magnitude of the DeLorean from Back to the Future. But Grok 3 also has weaknesses. In some basic tests, such as balancing a ball in a hexagon, the system fails completely. Nevertheless, in complex scientific tasks, it significantly outperforms the competition. And Jimmy explains, we've evaluated Grok 3 in three different categories, general mathematical reasoning, general knowledge about STEM and science, and then also computer science and coding. Elon adds, 17 months ago, our Grok 0 and Grok 1 barely solved any high school problems. And now we have a child who just finished high school. Grok is ready for college. Jimmy jokes, very soon there will be no benchmarks left. To which Musk responds, yes, like internally, as Grok evolves, soon there will be no benchmarks left. The human tests will simply be too easy. Folks, what we're seeing here is bigger than expected, and development continues at a breathtaking pace. New voices from the community report first experiences with Grok 3. User Chubby writes, everyone is surprised, but Grok seems to actually be the best model in the world, both in reasoning and non-reasoning. Complexity tweeted, I had been following the great battle between Anthropic and OpenAI for months, then DeepSeek came and pulled the rug out from under everyone. And now Grok 3 seems to outperform them all. Whether you're an AI enthusiast, developer, or just curious, Grok 3 marks a turning point in the history of artificial intelligence. The combination of unprecedented computing power, innovative reasoning capabilities, and the uncompromising pursuit of truth could fundamentally change our future. Nah. So what do you think about these new developments? Will you try Grok3 as soon as it's available in Germany? Write your opinion in the comments and let's discuss. Nah. If you like this update, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll even be informed when we upload a new video. I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.